We are given a trapezium with sides 25, 14, 13, and 10 units. We are to find the area of the trapezium. Solution. The formula for finding the area of trapezium is half times the sum of the parallel sides times the height. We are given the sides, but we are not given the height. So we have to find the height of this trapezium before we can proceed to find the area. Now, for us to find the height of this trapezium, let us label some points. Let us call this point A, B, C, and D. Now, let us draw a perpendicular line from A to this DC. Let's call that point E. And let us also draw a perpendicular line from B to DC, and let's call that point F. This figure, A, B, E, F, is a rectangle, and we know that opposite sides in a rectangle are equal. So, A, B equals to 10 units. E, F will also be equal to 10 units. For length DC, DC is 25 units, and E, F is 10. Let us call line DE X. What will be the length of FC? Now, FC will be 25 minus 10 minus X. So, FC will be equal to 15 minus X. Let us call the height of this trapezium H. AE is H. And AE is equal to BF, so BF will also be H. Now, to find the value of H, which is the height of this trapezium, we have to apply Pythagoras' theorem to these two right angle triangles. Now, Pythagoras' theorem says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So, in this triangle ADE, Pythagoras' theorem will be AD squared equals to DE squared plus AE squared. So, we will have 13 squared equals to H squared plus X squared. Now, let us call that equation 1. For triangle BFC, applying Pythagoras' theorem is going to be BC squared equals to BF squared plus FC squared. So we will have 14 squared equals to the bracket of 15 minus x squared plus h squared. So this is still going to be 196 equals to, we open up this bracket, we will have 15 squared minus x squared minus 2 times 15 times x plus h squared. That will be equals to 196 equals to 225 minus 30x plus h squared plus x squared. Now, take note, in our equation 1, 13 squared was equal to h squared plus x squared. So, let us substitute 13 squared in place of h squared plus x squared. We will have 196 equals to 225 minus 30x plus 13 squared. So, 196 equals to 225 minus 30x plus 169. We move 30 to this side of the equation and also move 196 to this side of the equation. We will have 30x equals to 225 plus 169 minus 196. So, 30x will be equal to 394 minus 196. So, we, we are left with 30x equals to 198. Now, to find x, we have to divide both sides of this equation by 30. 30 divided by 30, we are left with x there. So, for this side, we divide by 2, we have 198 divided by 2, we have 99, and 30 divided by 2, we have 15. x will be equal to 99 all over 15. So, this is the value of x. Let us substitute the value of x into equation 1 to find the value of h, which is the height of the trapezium. It's going to be 13 squared equals to 
99 all over 15 squared plus h squared. So h squared will be equal to 13 squared minus 99 squared all over 15 squared. So we will have h squared equals to 15 squared times 13 squared minus 99 squared all over 15 squared. So h squared will be equal to 195 squared minus 99 squared all over 15 squared. So we will have h squared equals to the bracket of 195 plus 99 bracket 195 minus 99 all over 15 squared. So h squared will be equals to 294 times 96 all over 15 times 15. And let us divide by 3. We will have 98 all over 5. Here will be 32 all over 5. So we have 98 times 32 all over 25. Let us write 98 in this form. That's 49 times 2. So we are going to have 49 times 2 times 32 all over 25. And we are, next, h squared will be equal to 49 times 64. So let us take the square root of both sides. When we take the square root of both sides, we have 7 times 8 all over 5. And finally, we have h equals to 56 all over 5. So we have gotten the height of this trapezium. Now let us find the area of the trapezium. Now, area of the trapezium is half bracket of AB plus CD times the height. So let us substitute the value into them. We will have half bracket 10 plus 25 times 56 all over 5. And when we go ahead and solve that, we have the area of this trapezium equals to 196 square units. Kindly like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.